Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. I trust that everyone is doing well. I want to welcome each and every one of you out there in virtual land for joining in to our Bible study this evening. Uh, we are welcome to Canaan Baptist Church, the church where everybody is somebody in Christ is all. Bishop Ronald K. Harris is our pastor. We just want to welcome you to our session on this evening. Uh, we trust that everybody had a great chance and opportunity to go out and place their vote. And now we welcome for good things to come before us on this evening. So thank you. Uh, before we go into our study session on this evening, let's start off with, a, um, with devotion and then we'll jump straight on into the lesson for this evening. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, I know the storm is passing over, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your precious son, Christ Jesus, who came into a sinful world just to show mankind the way that we should treat and love one another. Father, we ask you to keep your loving arms around and touch our hearts, minds, souls, and spirit there. Help us to be obedient unto your word, Father. Father, strengthen us on this journey down here in life, Father. Father, bless the shepherd of this flock, Father. Continue to anoint his mind and his heart to lead us and guide us your people in the way that we should travel and go. Father, touch each and every family and home, Father, that is at the ear, <coughs> that can hear your word, Father, coming from my mouth, resonating into their heart and to their ears on this evening, Father. Father, we just give you all praise, glory, and honor, thanking you for just being Lord God all by yourself. Lord, these and all the many blessings we humbly ask and pray, and none other than our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus, who also let the words in my mouth and meditation in my heart be acceptable in thy sight. You are truly my strength and my redeemer. These and all the many blessings we humbly ask and pray in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. May we all say amen. 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 And amen. amen. Once again, we want to say thank you. But without further ado, we're going to straight, jump straight on into the lesson. So our speaker for this evening 
will be none other than our own Minister Dr. Jackie Carter. So let's give her a hand, hand clap of praise as she comes to bring us God's word for this evening. Good evening. Good evening. And what a wonderful evening it is. And I hope everyone had a beautiful day. Amen. Walking the walk, Amen. talking the talk, yes. and being humble. Amen. 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 I want to thank Bishop Harris for giving me this opportunity. Thanking my all the fellow ministers. Thanking all the officers and members of this wonderful and great church. Amen? Amen. Father God, I come before you a humble servant. Yes. Lord, I ask you to bless each and every one of your children. Show us, Lord, guide us. Guide us to all the things that you have prepared for us. Show us the way, Lord. Yes. We love you, Father. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. There's this little song, and no, I'm not going to sing it, called Jesus Loves Me. <laughs> Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus loves me. Mm -hmm. Jesus loves me. This I know. Yeah. For the Bible tells me so. This is such a simple concept that holds great truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. What does the Bible say about Jesus loves me? The, the exact phrase, Jesus loves me, cannot be found in the Bible, but there is ample evidence that this is so, Amen. both in word and deed. Yes. For example, in John 13, 34, Jesus said, as I have loved you, mm -hmm. you must love one another. Mm -hmm. And John 15 and 9, mm -hmm. he said, as the Father has loved me, mm -hmm. so as I have loved you. Mm -hmm. John 15, 13, we read, greater love has no man than this, that he laid down his life mm -hmm. for his friends. Mm -hmm. While he spoke these words to his disciples, it's clear he was speaking through them to us. Yes. Amen. Jesus said, I love you with his life by showing up for all of us and giving us hope for our lives. Sometimes messy lives. Doesn't matter. Great lives. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Discomfort lives. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. because he loves us. Yeah. He left his throne to come to earth and save us from ourselves. Right. I'm so thankful for right. that. Yes. Yeah. It's through his life and present in our hearts that we can learn to love ourselves and others. Yes. Hmm. Sadness run deep in our world, especially for those who don't know what real love is. Mm -hmm. We're going through a pandemic right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some may say that in the United States, it is not being handled correctly. But that's okay. As long as we know who we are mm -hmm. and who the man is, Amen. we're going to survive it. Amen. It's through his life and presence in our hearts that we can learn to love ourselves and others. Mm -hmm. Through the life of Jesus, we see that love is more than just words. Yes. Love yes. is taking action. Yes. Whether it be with a food bank, come on, come on. whether it's going to visit someone, yes. whether it's just seeing someone and as they walk by, we don't even know who they are, but we yes. send a word of okay. prayer yes. up yes. for them yes. right then and there. Yes. Again, that's love yes. taking action. Yes. Love is patient. Mm -hmm. Love is kind. Yes, it, is. it does not envy. Uh -huh. It does not boast. Uh -huh. It is not uh -huh. proud. Right. Uh -huh. It does not dishonor others. Right. It is not self-seeking. Right. It is not easily angered. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that again. Because yeah. we say we love somebody, but we uh -huh. can we can get go down. Amen. Yes, we can. 
but it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. That's very important because some people do keep, if you do something to upset me, I'll tell you I'll forgive you. But guess what? Next week, I'm going to throw it right back up at you. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hope. Oh, what a wonderful life. Love. I want to love. Mm -hmm. I want to love. Mm -hmm. This kind of love doesn't just happen. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of love that we must act upon. Love is not just a feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love is not just a feeling. Mm -hmm. It is a choice. Mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't forced to love us. He chose mm -hmm. to love us mm -hmm. with open arms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even arms that was nailed to the cross. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus is love. Yeah. Jesus is our Savior who came to earth to show us how much he loved us. Yeah. He walked and talked with sinners like us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he shared his time with people, teaching and coaching them on how they should live. Right. Right. He wasn't just a good man. He is the light of the world, and he has made a way for all of us to live eternally with him in heaven. He died on the cross for our sins and was raised from the grave. Thank the Lord Jesus. Jesus is our only way to heaven, and he has prepared a special place for us. Yeah. He wants us to experience his unconditional love. Mm. Unconditional love. Mm. Hmm. That's powerful. It is. He desires for all of us to humbly come to him and surrender ourselves. Mm. There are many ways that Jesus has said, I love you, mm -hmm. with his life, but here are five ways that he does so. Jesus says, I love you by inviting us to be with him forever. Jesus shows us his love by inviting us to his eternal home and welcoming us. Jesus forgives us with open arms when we repent. He waits patiently for us to show up with a surrendered heart and willingness to change. He never gives up on us. Amen. He never gives up on us. Amen. That reminds me for those of us who have children and grandchildren, no matter what they do, Amen. Amen. we're always there. That's that always. unconditional yes. love. Amen. We just never give up on our, on our family. We just never do. Amen. Jesus told us about the prodigal son, mm -hmm. a story about real love. Mm -hmm. We all have been prodigals who have gone astray, mm -hmm. whether we want to admit it or not. Mm -hmm. But he reminds us that we are all loved unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Jesus longs for us to invite him into our hearts mm -hmm. and celebrate everlasting life with him. He has a place prepared for you and me. Mm -hmm. He welcomes us home no matter what we have done wrong. Thank you. It doesn't even matter. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. Thank you. Jesus said, I love you by caring for us. Jesus watches us day and night. Mm -hmm. When one of us gets lost, he goes and finds us yeah. and brings us back in. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so thankful for that. Yeah. Thank he fights for us like the shepherd fights off wolves for the sheep. Right. David's song about the good shepherd is an excellent example of how Jesus loves us. Yeah. Hmm. Everybody knows this. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. I shall not want. Amen. He maketh me to lie down in green yeah. pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yes. Whew, 
He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. We know God didn't create us to be alone. As a matter of fact, he created us to be in fellowship with others. Mm -hmm. As the good shepherd, he makes sure that no one wanders out of his presence. Mm -hmm. Ooh, being in the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. He keeps us in the fold. Mm -hmm. He takes the hook of his rod yeah. and pulls his wandering sheep back. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. A good shepherd spends time with the dirty and stinky sheep. Mm -hmm. He cares for them mm -hmm. through the long, dark nights and keeps them sheltered from storms. Mm -hmm. He keeps us sheltered from the storms. Yes, yes. He keeps us what we're going through. Yeah. We don't even know mm -hmm. the power mm -hmm. of our Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus is right here with us in the darkest places in our lives. Yeah. Patiently, he waits for us to look up and reach out our hands to him. This is true love. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times we reach and pull back, Father God is still with his hand patiently waiting for us. Jesus says, I love you by spending time with people. Jesus spent time with sinners and those who were sick. He ate and drank with those that no one else would dare come close to. Can we say that about ourselves? You know, we have a choice of who we want to communicate with. Come on, come on. But aren't we thankful and so happy mm. that God did not it see it that way? Him. He said, all of mine. When the world rejects us, we know that we have a good shepherd who loves us. Mm -hmm. His love brings healing mm. to the brokenhearted and sick. Mm -hmm. Jesus showed us through his life by visiting the poor, yes. the widows, and yes. the orphans. Jesus lived his life for a purpose, and that was to serve all. He brought hope to all who would receive him, and he calls us to do the same. It doesn't take much of our time to reach out to others. It doesn't take much of our time to give back to someone. Not to look down on them, mm -hmm. but stand side by side with them oh, yes. and to help them, to support mm -hmm. them. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you Jesus spent time with his disciples, teaching and encouraging them. Yes, they ate meals together yes, while they fellowshiped yes. and they went together to minister to crowds of people. Yes, multiple. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. That's what we do. Yes. We do that all the time. Mm -hmm. We talk to people mm -hmm. about the Lord because we're not afraid mm -hmm. and we're, there's no discouragement right. in it. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with telling someone, I love the Lord. Yes. He hears my cry. Yes. I want you to hear that, to feel that. Mm -hmm. Just give your life to God. Mm -hmm. He's waiting. Hmm. Jesus said, I love you by changing our hearts. Mm -hmm. Jesus promised his disciples that they would not be alone when he left. That's right. He knew that they would miss him. Mm -hmm. And he promised them the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We received the Holy Spirit when we asked Jesus into our hearts. Mm -hmm. That's a testimony itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. 
When we pray to our Father in Jesus' name, we can be sure that we are in his presence. We enter the throne room of prayer because of the blood of Jesus. We don't need to confess to a priest or any other man. We just give it to our Father God who stands waiting for us. Jesus will show us a better way to live and he will give us the tools, the strategies, discernment. That's a powerful word. <laughs> That's an action word. And wisdom to do so. He speaks to our heart in many different ways. It can be through music, scriptures, friends, teaching, visions, miracles. And miracles do still happen. And so much more. He changes the way we think and fills us with the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Yeah. But the Spirit of the, I'm sorry, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, mm -hmm. peace, forbearance, mm -hmm. kindness, mm -hmm. goodness, mm -hmm. faithfulness, yeah. gentleness, mm -hmm. and self-control. Yeah. Against such things there is no law. Now that's what Gal <coughs> over in Galatians say. Jesus said, I love you by dying on the cross. Mm -hmm. Life is full of sorrow. Jesus came to give us hope. His message is that this place is not our home and we don't belong here. Mm -hmm. In our sorrow, we all long for a better place yes. by drawing closer to God. Mm -hmm. Our sorrow will become less intense. Yes. You know those situations where we have, we just feel like we cannot get out of that pit. Mm -hmm. But when we call on Father God, mm -hmm. <laughs> miracles happen. Yes. You know, sometimes I like to share that I felt at one point in my life I was so down in the pit that every time that I tried getting out, I slid back down. Yes. Mm -hmm. But there was one moment mm -hmm. When I was so, and I just said, Father God, please help me. I don't want to live like this. I do not belong in this pit. Father, Father, Father. So as you start climbing back up out of that pit, guess what? There's a hand reaching down for you. And it will pull you on up out of there. That's why it is so important that when we see someone struggling, we do all that we can to reach for them. To help them up out of that pit. Whatever their pit is, to help them up out of that. We all have sinned. Shame and guilt keeps us down in the pits. Mm -hmm. When Jesus rose from the dead, he took our sins and gave us new life. Mm -hmm. We are free to live at peace with ourselves, mm -hmm. change the way we do things, and not go back mm -hmm. to our old ways. Mm -hmm. But I have a little tip for you. Mm -hmm. If we do backslide, mm -hmm. there's no such thing that God is not waiting and accepting of us. Thank you, Amen. Thank you. Jesus made all things new for those who love him. Right. The greatest love story ever told is the one of Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. Mm -hmm. How many mm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he has made a way for us to enter the throne room and live eternal life with him in paradise. Mm -hmm. Who does not want to live with Jesus mm -hmm. eternally? I want to go to heaven. I want to be by his side. Oh, hallelujah. And I know I'm going to see each and every one of you there. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 Jesus came to show us that he desires relationship. Mm -hmm. He longs for us to receive his unconditional love. He took our guilt and shame on the cross and daily, mm -hmm. daily provides us grace, mercy, and do-overs. Mm -hmm. Because we can, yes. we can, and we will, and we shall. Yes. Jesus came to serve us 
and be sacrificed for our foolishness. Mm -hmm. He wants us to feel and experience this type of love. Mm -hmm. We can love like Jesus when we, when we receive his amazing love. Mm -hmm. I say again, yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Oh, Thank you. Is there any questions or comments? Well, in my conclusion, mm -hmm. today we can be the hands and feet of Jesus. Yes, yes. He fills us with his love mm -hmm. and he sends us out into the world mm -hmm. to deliver it. Yes, yes. We see Jesus in missionaries, mm -hmm. evangelists, mm -hmm. teachers, pastors, friends, mm -hmm. parents, siblings, mm -hmm. and intercessors. Mm -hmm. We can make change happen in our world when we love like Jesus. Yeah. We all have been provided with spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. There is no greater love no. than the love of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just keep saying that Hallelujah. to yourselves. There is no greater love than the love of Jesus. Amen. 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 And this is my prayer. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Jesus, I thank you for showing me just how much you love me. Yes. I praise you and I honor you. Thank you for loving me more than I could ever love myself. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, church.